Next stop on the Traxxas Truck Series brings us to Nashville Super Speedway. As today we are here for the running of the Federated Auto Parts 300, or 200 I should say, excuse me, from Nashville Super Speedway. It should be a great race here today. On the pole races Luke Walker in truck number five, the here in number five Ford. Alongside of him is Tina McCoy in car number four, in truck number four. Our Daytona winner, row two, has Austin Marshall in the eight. And the 19 of Zach Goldberg for Brad Keselowski Racing. Row 3 is Charles Sanford in the 9 truck. And Trey Campbell, our Phoenix winner, in the 30. Row 4 has Ricky Hawk in the Timothy Peters truck, number 17. And David Chung in the 08. So, uh, drivers, start your engines. Okay, that was a weird command. Uh... Anyway, the 7 of Liam Irving is, and the 18 of Scholar Harris is the next row. Then after that is Elijah Kopex in the 62. And the 32 truck of Tim Gardner. So, should be an interesting race here today at Nashville Super Speedway. Pace truck that is on the pit road, and here they come. The green flag about to wave here at Nashville Super Speedway. Luke Walker will lead him down in truck number five. The green flag waves, and here we go at Nashville. Lined up in two by two formation through the first and second turns. Now Luke Walker jumps out in front. In the second now goes the eight truck of, J of Austin Marshall. And there they come down in the third turn now. The nine truck of Charles Sanford running pretty strong right there on the inside lens. He goes on the inside of Tina McCoy in the four. And off of the fourth corner they come. It'll be Luke Walker leading the first slap of the race in truck number five. That's the truck that was formerly driven by Polly Haraka in the Camping World Truck Series. Ricky Hawk goes in the fourth right there. The Red Horse Racing truck's going right out here. Ricky Hawk in 17, that's the Timothy Peters truck, and the 7 truck as well of Liam Irving. That's the truck that Parker Kligerman drives. As they go down to the 3rd and 4th turns now, they're Irving drives in the inside of the 17 of Ricky Hawk, but nothing got doing right now. 15 laps around this race truck here at, near Nashville. Here comes the 31 truck on the inside of a pair of brothers going at it. Liam Campbell inside of his brother Trey Campbell. And right there behind is Red Bell in the 22. Three Chevrolets right together. Make it have four Chevrolets right together. Robbie Hardy in the 33 goes inside of the 19 of Brad Gulbick in the 19. Taking you through the field right there. Elijah Kopax right there. There's 15 of JG and Norin. Scholar Harris getting passed by Joel McDowell and a 07 of as well of Alex Lozano. Tim Gardner in 32 to the Miguel Polito truck. Hayden Klein going inside of the three at Demarcus Brown. Logan Wilson in the 88. He's right there. 50 of Jack Rasmussen running 21st right now. Rasmussen dives inside now. He's looking for a good run. He's had a start. He's had a sloppy start to the season, to say the least, but he's got the inside lane working to perfection for him right now as he goes past both Demarcus Brown and Skylar Harris. Got that dodge working pretty well, but now he's up on a high side. That may be a mistake for Rasmussen as they dive as he goes in the third turn now. And now he dives inside of the 15 of JG Norin, the second truck for Panhandle Motorsports. That's the 2010 Joanna Long truck. And the teammate is another Joanna Long truck, and we'll try to find him right there. He's our Martinsville winner. That is Joshua Osborne, and there he is right there near the tail of the pack. Getting past the Jennifer Joe Cobb truck of Terry Solte. Joshua running 35th right now. As I said, he won our last race on the tour at Martinsville Speedway. Now he's on the back bumper of the 98 of Troy Childers. Meantime, it is still Luke Walker out in front in truck number five. Here he is. He's got, the, he's got Austin Marshall behind him in the eight truck and the nine of Charles Sanford. A Ford trying to hold off a pair of Chevrolets here. 
on this mile and a third racetrack. We'll also have the FedEx Nationwide Series here on this track uh, right after that as well. Right after this Traxxas Truck Series race. Ricky Hawk and his teammate Liam Irving both for Red Horse Racing. A couple of strong Toyotas running fourth and fifth right now. Tina McCoy running six. She's our Daytona winner. Red Bell diving in inside of Liam Campbell. Bell in the 22. That's the Joey Coulter truck. And the 30, and 31 truck of Liam Campbell. That's the truck James Busher drives. And we're under a yellow flag, looks like, right now. It's, I believe it's Jarrett Mackey in the 03 truck that uh, caused the yellow flag. Let's see what happened there in the. Uh, yeah. A little impatient racing, shall we say, right there. He was up. There was he was on. He was about to get passed by the 13 truck uh, truck of Leah Walker, and she gets passed by Nancy Sultave in a zero one, and Nancy shoves Leah into Jarrett Mackey, and Mackey suddenly starts spinning, and then he goes in this long slide. Whoa! And Nancy Sultave, she saved that mess right there. I thought she was gone too, and I thought she. She had kept on. She had, she would have sideswept the twenty of Joshua Osborne, but yeah, see, Jarrett Mackey gets the truck uh, back underway, and no, I want to see the O one. I, I want to see how she saved that. I mean, she should have. She was gone through there. Let's take a look at the at the far chase view right there. She was on the inside of the six of Danny Wells. Now here it goes right there. She goes inside of the 13 of Leia Walker. A couple of ladies going at it right there. They 0 1 and the 13. Now she goes into Leia and then, yeah, she goes, Leia goes into Jarrett Mackey. Mackey barely taps Nancy's truck. And I watch Nancy. She's sideways totally. Ooh. She was, I thought she had lost it for sure. That she had. Come right up and almost sideswipe the 20 truck of Joshua Osborne. But nevertheless, Luke Walker has the lean race still. Pace truck has the lights off right now. We will have three laps remaining when we start this race. We start this race here at National Super Speedway. Will it be Luke Walker getting his first win of the season? Austin Marshall running a second position. Third is Charles Sanford. Fourth is 17 truck of Ricky Hawk. And the fifth place truck, Liam Irving. Nobody's touched Luke Walker all day long here. And oh boy, he took off like John Force on that start, didn't he? He needed that restart here. Austin Marshall. That start might have hurt him. And Luke Walker's got some kind of transmission under the hunter that Ford. He is he took off big time on that start. But Austin Marshall and Charles Sanford trying to tandem draft up it. Nope. Charles Sanford is saying different. He said, I'm going for it. And now him and Austin starting to close in just a little bit now as they come out of turn number four, but Luke Walker knows he's got two laps to go now. Luke Walker, no stranger to running good in any NASCAR 2003 series. Has been very, is often strong in any of the series that he signs up for. And boy, he's making the use of it here in the Traxxas Truck Series right now. As it comes to the line this time, he's going to see the white flag. He's got one lap remaining in the race. So Austin, Austin Marshall trying to close just a bit. But he may not have enough truck as they go down in the third, first and second turns now. He was a slight bit quicker than, than Luke Walker, but not enough. That's coming out of turn number. Uh, going in the third turn, he comes here. Luke Walker with his here teammates of Leia Walker and Pichu London. Coming out of corner number four, Luke Walker takes the win here at National Service Race. He wins the uh, Federated Auto Parts 200. Austin Marshall, a valiant try, finishes in second position. But there's your winner, Luke Walker, takes the win here today at, at National Super Speedway.
start speed in race 115.858 8 miles per hour. And Luke Walker is your winner of the race. Austin Marshall second, third Charles Sanford, fourth Liam Irving, fifth, fifth Ricky Hawk. Liam Campbell comes on sixth. Robbie Hardy, Elijah Kovacs, Joel McDowell, and Alex Lozano comes in in the tenth position. Then Joey Tanker, Red Bell, Tina McCoy, Jer Jeremy Solte, Zach Goldbeck, the top 15. Then, uh, then Hayden Klein, J.G. Norris, Skylar Harris, Logan Wilson, and Dominic Jarvis, the top 20 in this running of the race here. And then there's the rest of the order right there. Joshua Osborne down 27th, Leia Walker in, 20, in 28th. And then right there, Danny Wells, dead last in the field. Not a good day for him. But the win to Luke Walker, truck number five. Takes the win here today at National Super Speedway. Here's your points as they are right now. And he had that win taking us to the points lead here over Joel McDowell. And Tina McCoy runs third right now in the points. Trey Campbell, Alex Lozano. Then comes J.G. Norton, Red Bell, Jer Jeremy Solte, Jade Agonis. And David Chung, the top 10. And Troy Childers currently holds the 20th position right now in the points. To look and see where you're at right now. And Leia Walker down in 35th position. Not a good points, not a good season for a lot of the big names in any series. So, so next race on the tour will be at Dover Downs International Speedway, the Lucas Oil Slick Miss 200. When we come back.